Queen heads to Queensland today for the first time in 23 years, with the highlights set to be a cruise down the Brisbane River. Sky News National Affairs Correspondent Selena Edmund is covering the Royal Tour like no other and joins us now. Selena, good morning. Good morning to you, Terry and Sharon. Yes, we're here at Kangaroo Point, which is going to be one of the best vantage points to see the Queen today. And we're expecting Queensland to give Her Majesty a welcome like no other has at the moment, because uh, this tour, of course, has been focused on the nation's capital. And we have seen hundreds of people turning out to see the Queen, the Duke of Edinburgh. But here in Queensland, there has a lot, been a lot more publicity. And perhaps it's because of what a tough year that this state has had with the floods and the cyclone. So the Queen is expected to touch down at Brisbane Airport at approximately 11 o'clock local time, 12 noon Australian Eastern Daylight Time. She will be then whisked to Brett's Wharf at Hamilton, where she will board a city cat for a 50-minute trip up the Brisbane River to South Bank. And we're expecting the Queen to do a walk around at QPAC, the Queensland Performing Arts Centre. She's also going to be meeting today with victims and emergency personnel uh, who who were um, affected by the floods and the cyclone in Queensland earlier this year. She'll be having lunch with the governor and also rededicating a rainforest walk that was damaged during the floods. Yesterday we saw the Queen go to church and hundreds of people turned out at St John's Anglican Church in Canberra to give her a big welcome there as she worshipped along with the parishioners there, including the Foreign Minister Kevin Rudd, his wife Therese and her mother. And uh, it was uh, a great scene of flowers, waving flags again, and people generally very pleased to see Her Majesty. She was then the guest of honour, along with the Duke, at a luncheon for 24 distinguished Australians at Government House. Among them, Geoffrey Rush, comedian Arne Doe, and uh, Kurt Fernley, the Paralympic champion, and also Bart Cummings, who the Queen was most interested in talking to. Of course, we know she loves her horses, and uh, who better to talk to than Bart? Cummings, who's won the Melbourne Cup for 12 times as a, a trainer. So the Queen has been enjoying herself in Australia. This is going to be a very busy day for the royal couple because they are only on the ground here for about four hours. And uh, you've got to also bear in mind they are 85 and 90 years old. So today is expected to be a more taxing day for them. All right, Selena, good luck with keeping up with it all. Thanks very much.